worms or eggs or, or like what are earthworms, you know, born in? Okay, so so you saw the earthworm and had the band. So let's say that um, this is the band. Okay, you come here. You've got a band now too. And so you're, you're crawling around and I find you and we put our bands together. Okay, and now when we have our bands together, now earthworms are hermaphrodites. So they have both male and female parts. Yeah. And so both of us contribute sperm and egg into the into the middle. And then what happens is there's this nice mucus that starts foaming around here. And it and it sort of foams over the whole area. And then it starts to get a bit jelly-like. And the eggs are actually fertile in like they're fertilized inside. And then what happens is we're gonna wiggle backwards. So wiggle backwards. And then this gel actually forms a case and all the embryos are inside and it hardens up and then it stays in the soil. Um, anywhere between um, one and six or seven individuals. Yeah, from that, from that mating. Yeah. And what, are they all at shallow depth because of temperature? Like, do they seek temperature? Um, it depends on the earthworm species. So, um, some species are in the surface, and other ones live deeper down, and then of course it's the deeper ones. Um, but they all leave them sort of in the top 10 centimeters. Um, it's probably because when they're really feeding and they're really active, they're all up in there because now's the time when the roots are all, you know, in that top 20 centimeters. So they're all in that top 20 centimeters having